हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट लिस्ट एंड टेबल्स इन एच टी एम एल फाइव चैप्टर एट हाउ वी कैन यूज लिस्ट टेबल्स सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ लिस्ट अनऑर्डर्ड एंड ऑर्डर लिस्ट लिस्ट प्रॉपर्टीज नेस्टेड लिस्ट डिस्क्रिप्शन लिस्ट टेबल्स एंड टेबल प्रॉपर्टीज वन बाय वन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल द टॉपिक्स first one is lists so a list is the most efficient way of presenting information in a precise manner it helps in making important points stand out more clearly thereby grabbing a visitor's attention html supports different elements to create a list for displaying item in a specific order so if you want to list down all the points if you are going to do something so we just make a list in the same way in html also we present data or information using a list menu it help us to manage important points more clearly we can find out within one uh, grabs to it so html support different elements as well and a list for displaying items in a specific order like first what you are going to do first thing then second thing third thing and a list can be defined in different style as well the type of list that html provides are an order list order list and description list so there are three type of list that we are going to discuss in this chapter an order list so you can see this picture is depicting example of an order list now what is an order list so an order list is used when the items are not required to be displayed in any particular sequence and the list begins and end with ul and and with slash ul so ul stand for unordered list the initial of the words so you have to use a starting tag ul and end it with slash ul so it's a container tag it's contain something and it indents each item in the list and adds a bullet against each of them so here bullets points are there circles this and it is also known as bulleted list because we are using bullets before them so second name of an order list is bulleted list then we have another tag li tag so you have to use angular brackets before li here and to display the list of items given in any of the two lists that is unordered or order list li tag is used so firstly you have to write ul for an order list then you are going to use li for each of the list you are going to maintain there now this is the example of an order list so here first we use html the starting tag head title and we just give a title here using list you can see the title display right side which showing the output after that i just use style tag to provide some color style i just select the body tag and set the background 2550251 comma 21 using rgb so rgb stands here red green blue so in what constant we just using these colors here after that i just select h1 and i just set the color if we just write color that it means the text color we are setting here so color colon red so content color text color will be set red here then we use li color colon green so the content color the text color of list we just set green here and we just write these tags as it is so it means that we are selecting those tags means whatever we are writing in inside this angular inside these curly braces it means that same thing will be applied to that particular tag only after that i just close the style tag then close the head tag after that i just start the body tag here and h1 so h1 means heading one i am going to display a heading here and i just write benefits of positive attitude so this will become my heading and i just close h1 tag then i just start ul an order list here inside that i just using increase productivity inside li then second li improve quality then efficient team work then breeds loyalty and close ul tag means this is the range of my an order list all the list are come inside that only then i just close the body tag then html tag 
and you will get this out. I hope this is clear to you. Next is order list. So order list is used to display the list of item in a specific order. An order list intend and give a number to each item in the list. That is why it is known as number list. So order list is used to display the list of item. Different item you can display here with a specific order. You can see that there is an order given. First word uh, thing will be come firstly, then second thing, third thing like this. So it goes in a specific order. An order list and gives a number to each in the list. So you can see that before each of the list there is a number and that is why it is known as the numbered list. Another name of order list is number list. And I hope that is also clear why we call it the number list. And the list begins and end with start with angular brackets ol and end with slash ol tags respectively. And order list are mostly used in situation where uh, the order of the item is significant or where it is required to keep a count of the number of item. Okay. So, situation where we are going to write down the things in order. Okay. So, you can see this example. Getting up at 6. What is the daily routine? I just use that example. Then outdoor running for 45 minutes. Third thing what I am going to do. Fifth thing what I am going to do. But these all are in a sequence. One after another what I am going to do there. Okay. Or where it is required to keep account of the number of item. Like how many things we just done. So there we use ordered, an order, uh, order list. So this is the example of order list. Firstly, we are going to use HTML tag. Then we are going to use head tag. Then title tag. And we just write the title order list. Then I just close the title tag. Then I just use style type text slash CSS. And I select the body tag here. And what I'm going to do with body tag, I just write within curly braces. So I just use background hyphen repeat colon no repeat background hyphen image colon url and i just use the image pancakes.jpg color i just use blue font size i just use 20 pixels okay then i just select the h1 tag and i just set the text color here red then i just close the style tag then close the head tag then i just use start the body tag and i just use h1 tag here for giving a heading then I just use recipe for pancake and close the H1 tab. Then I just use OL order list. And first order list I just use in a large ball. Mix flour, sugar, baking powder and salt. Second list I just use make a well in the center and pour in milk, egg and oil. Mix until smooth. Then next heat a lightly oiled griddle or frying over medium high heat. Then I just use pour or scoop the bed on the griddle using approximately 1 by 4th cup for each pancake. Okay, then I just use <coughs> last list as brown on both sides and so forth. And I just close the order list and close the body tag and close the HTML here. So you can see the output on the right side recipe for pancakes. And these are all come with a number 1 by another and you can see in the program I haven't tried any number here so because of the order list here when I just use li automatically all the numbers are displayed next is list properties so we have different list properties first is list style type this property specify the bullet style that will be used as a type of list item marker Okay, so the syntax of this is list hyphen style hyphen type colon value. So any value you can write here, which you are going to use as a type of list item marker. Second is list style image. Which type of style image you are going to use? So with this property, you can specify an image as the list item marker. So first we use list hyphen style hyphen image colon value. Then we have list style position. So with this property, you can specify the position of list item marker with the help of this property. Okay. So how you can specify list style position column value. Then we have list style in this shorthand property. 
wherein all the list property can be specified in one declaration. You just use list style colon value. You can uh, give any value here with the help of which your list style will be settled down. List properties example. So this is example of list property. First is HTML tag. Then we have to use head tag. After that, we have to use title tag. Inside that, we have to write a title on order list property. Then we have to close that title. Then I just use style tag. Style type text slash CSS. Then I just use body tag. Background hyphen color RGB. So red, green, blue combination. I just use to set the color there. Then I just use UL. An order list. List hyphen style image. So I just use URL of the name of the image. Check down GPG. Then I just use LI. List for list. This is a list tag. So I just select the tag. Then I just use font size 30 pixel color. I just use purple. Then I just align the text top. Then I just use H1 color colon red. Then I just close the style tag. Then I just close the head tag. Then I just start the body tag. H1. I just use as the heading part of speech so h1 is a container tag it can contain anything so i just write a heading inside that then i just use ul an order list style equals to list style position then i just set the position outside then i just select some list li now li pronoun li adjective after that i just use the second heading part of now and then again i just use h1 and close h1 tab then i just use order list style equals to style type position inside okay so it does come inside the powder parts of noun the upper one will come outside the parts of speech so i just use li common nouns proper nouns and abstract nouns then i just close the ul tag then body tag and then html tag so you will get this output Next is nested list. So a list inside another list. When you are using a list to define uh, another list as well within a list. Suppose you have a list of uh, some like what do you want to drink. Okay. So you have coffee, tea, milk. But there is a type of coffee also you want to define. So you can use <coughs> nested list there. So an ordered an unordered list can be nested within each other to form a multi-level list. Okay, so with the help of nested list, we can form a multi-level list as well. Then, this is example of nested list. We have to start with HTML. Then, we have to use head tag. Then, after that, you have to use title. So, inside title, you have to write the title of your program. So, I just use ordered and unordered list. So, both the list I am going to use here. That's why I just give it a title like this. Then, I just use style type, text slash CSS. Then, I just use body tag. Then, I just set the background color using RGB. Then, I just use order list. This is style type colon lower Roman. So, Roman number will be up here but in lower form. Then, I just use UL, unordered list. List style type circle. Okay. So, unordered list will be comes as a circle here. You can see circles are small circles are there. Then I just use H1 and I just use color colon blue. So, I just define the heading as blue. So, text of the heading will be appear in blue color. Then I just close sign. Then I just close head. Then I just use body tag. I just use a heading vitamins within H1 here. Then I just use UL, an order list. Inside that I just use list style. I just use color red. I just make it bold using B, uh, B tag here. I just write fat soluble vitamins. Then I just use inside an order list. I haven't used that yet. I just use order list. Then LI style color dark green and I just write vitamin E. So, fat soluble vitamins in an unordered list. Inside that, I just create an order list. Then I am creating different lists there. Right? And I am also doing the styling part vitamin A, B, D, E, K. So, you can see the output on the right side. 
uh, with the help of circles i just define the unordered list but with lower roman so i just define it out e o l unordered list will become in lower roman then i just use ordered list inside unordered list only second one and i just set time list time upper alpha okay upper case will be appear then i just use the color of list dark green so vitamin b1 b2 are appear in dark green now then i just close ol tag and everything i have enclosed within ul on order list here that's why fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins are come like this with circles then i just close the body tag and then html tag. next is description list so a description list consists of a term followed by a definition it is used to present a glossary list of terms or other name or value list it start and end with dl and slash dl description list so here also we just take initials dl we start with dl and end with slash dl so dl tag is used in conjunction with dt and dd so dt here help in defining the term or names dd help in defining each term or name okay describing if you want to describe anything dd okay and defining the term dt okay defining the term dt and you if you are describing it you are writing what is it then you have to use dt next the example of description list so i just use html tag then head tag then i just give a title description list and close the title tag then i just use style type text slash css then i just use body tag i just select the body tag and i just use the background color peach pop you can see that color here then i just use dt for the terms i just use text transform uppercase i want my terms in uppercase only that's why i just use uppercase then i just use color red font size 30 pixels then i just use dd to define uh, describe them i just use text color green font size 20 pixels then i just close style close head then i start the body tag then i just use dl description list firstly then dt term i just define dna so you can see here dna in caps because i just select it up in style tag as well then i just describe it in two lines like the full form of dna then its definition after that i just use the second term rna and then i just use dd to describe it full form and its definition then i just close the body tag then html tag next is tables so the table tag define a html table so html table consists of one table element and one or more tr th td elements so tr element define a table row and th element define a table header and td element define a table cell so we are going to use these all tags together to form a table so this is example of table so first you have to write html tag then head tag then you have to write a title so i just use creating a table then i just use a style tag style type text slash css then i select the body tag background hyphen color rgb 255 comma 251 comma 214 then i just use th and color i just use blue then i just close style tag then head tag then i start the body tag i just use that table because we are going to form a table we have to use a table tag firstly then i just use caption style color colon red so the text color i am going to use for caption heading of the table i just use red here then i just uh, write student information and close that tag after that i just use tr tag to form a table then i just use some headings th serial number then i just close th then i just use the second th here inside that i just use name then i just close that th also In the third th i just define the grades then i just close that tr line then i just start the second tr line second row then i just use 
td1 now i am filling the entries one by one then td again bindu then td again a so grade a then i just close the td here then i just close the table row also so that row will be completed now i am starting the second row so i just use tr again then td second then close td then td yogesh so second entry is yogesh you know like this you can form a table then i just close td then i just write a plus then again i just close td then tr then table tag then body tag and then html table properties so there are different table properties which we used to make our table look more nice first is border this property help in specifying the border width border style border color of the table and itself so we just use border colon value so where value can be anything you can use 20 pixels or you can use in percentages also okay so value for border width value for border style value for border color you can use it then we have next property hover so this property if enabled highlight the table cell row or column with the specified color when you hover over mouse your mouse over it and it is used with the tr th or td tag so when you move your mouse over the table content so you are hovering you are moving your mouse so we can use different colors we can change different backgrounds when this thing is happen so we just use tr colon hover background hyphen color colon size so background color will become siren when you move cursor over the content tr next is horizontal and vertical alignment so the vertical align or we can say text align properties are used to set the horizontal and vertical alignment of the text respectively in a table and these properties are used with the th or td tag so we just align text align colon value so where you want to align your text horizontally vertically or vertical align colon value next is padding this property help in specifying the space between the border and the content in the table so there is a space between the border of the table and the content of the table if you want to increase that space you want to decrease that space how you can do that you can just write padding colon that value 20 pixels 30 pixels so it will adjust the spacing accordingly then we have table layout so this property is used to set the layout for a table it is used with the table tag so the syntax for this is table hyphen layout colon value where value colon auto fix or initial so you can use auto fix or initial any value here for making the table layout and layout means arrangement how you want to arrange your table next is border spacing so this property is used to specify the distance between the border of the adjacent cell so where you want to specify the border and the adjacent cells what spacing do you want there so how you can define it you can use border hyphen spacing then colon value you can use the value horizontal spacing in pixels vertical spacing in pixels or centimeters border collapse so with this property one can specify whether the table border are to be collapsed into a single border or detached as usual so that is like how what type, what kind of look do you want so we can use the syntax colon border hyphen collapse colon value and there are two values separate or collapse you can use any one of them then we have caption size it specify the placement of a table caption we just use syntax caption colon uh, caption hyphen side colon value so value what what value you can use top by default it's top or you can use bottom as well if you want the caption on the bottom you can use bottom also next property is empty cells so this property help in specifying whether or not the border and background are to be placed around empty cell in a table so 
if you don't want any border around empty cells the cells which doesn't contain anything so we just use empty hyphen cell so the syntax for this you are going to use empty hyphen cells column value by default all the empty cells are shown so value equals to show by default or you can use hide as well then we have height and width using those property you can set the height and width of the table height column value whatever height you want to specify width column value whatever width you want to specify so where value equals to length in pixels centimeter or percentage as well like 30% or you want to use 30 pixels you can use 30 px then this is example of table properties first you have to start with html tag then head tag title I just give it creating a table then I just use style type text slash CSS then I just use body background hyphen color RGB and I just use 255 comma 251 comma 214 red green blue combination then I just use table TD and TH border I just use one pixel solid and magenta so this is for border for my table and table data and table heading so then I just select the table tag and I just use border collapse, collapse, padding 5 pixels with 100%, height 30%, text align center, background color I just use RGB 250, 23 and 223. So this is also a combination of red, green, blue color. Then I just select the table heading and I just use color blue Then I just close style tag, close head tag. Then I just start the body tag. Then I just create table caption i just use style color red so i just use red color in bold i just write figure colon states and their capitals then i just close caption then i just use tr so i just create the first table row and then initially in the first row when we observe something when we create a table we just write heading so i just write headings state then i just close th then i just start second th and then i just write capital then i just close tr then i just start the second tr table loop then i just write data j and k then i just close td again then i just start second td shrinagar like this i just create the whole table then i just close table tag and then the body tag and then the html tag and when you execute it you will get this output i hope everything is clear to you thank you